just before we join Alan Titchmarsh and his guests for Love Your Weekend in a few minutes, a quick look at the latest headlines with the ITV News. With Faye Barker. Good morning, I'm Faye Barker. It's six months today since the Hamas attacks on Israel, which ignited the current war. Around 1,200 people were killed on October the 7th, and 253 were taken hostage. The death toll of over 30,000 people in Gaza since, and the deepening humanitarian crisis there, though, has led to growing condemnation of Israel's military campaign. Here, the Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, has suggested the UK's support for Israel is not unconditional. And as Anna Geary reports, anger is growing in the country itself as people demand the return of the surviving hostages. Overnight, the rallying cry of tens of thousands of Israelis in Tel Aviv, a country now deeply divided. It's been six months since 253 Israelis were captured by militant group Hamas. Their relatives expressed their anger and agony over the government's failure to free those still held hostage. They live in fear that many may not be alive after yesterday Israeli Defense Forces said they recovered the body of hostage Elad Kadzir in a raid in Gaza. Meanwhile, as many fight to feed their families in Gaza, the UK announced a Royal Navy ship will be deployed. Alongside the vessel, the government announced a £9.7 million package for aid deliveries. In the Sunday Times, the Foreign Secretary, Lord Cameron, said Britain's support for Israel is not unconditional. He issued a warning to the country over its compliance with international humanitarian law and put further pressure on the Israeli Prime Minister. Six days after the killings of seven aid workers, three of them British, saying this must never happen again. We're not giving carte blanche when we have uh, robust conversations uh, with Israel. Indeed, the, both uh, our Prime Minister had conversations with Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Foreign Secretary had conversations with his opposite number. And there is terrible suffering going on. There's terrible suffering that the Israeli people are, are suffering from as a result of this trauma. There's terrible suffering going on in Gaza. As international pressure for peace ramps up, smoke from explosions still dominates the skyline in Gaza. Today, negotiators are expected to meet in Cairo to attempt to reach a ceasefire in this brutal war. Anna Geary, ITV News. Here, a woman in her 20s has died after being stabbed in Bradford city centre. West Yorkshire police were called to the scene off Westgate just after three o'clock yesterday afternoon. She was taken to hospital but later died from her injuries. Officers are working to locate and arrest a man who reportedly fled the scene. Scotland is facing the threat of further power cuts and travel disruption today as high winds and heavy rain from Storm Kathleen continue. Flood warnings remain in place this morning and a new yellow wind warning from the Met Office has been issued for much of the day. Some parts of Scotland have already witnessed gusts of over 70 miles per hour. Figures show nearly 5 million people have called the NHS helpline due to dental problems over the last five years. Data shared by the Labour Party shows demand for dental care via the 111 non-emergency line increased during the pandemic and hasn't returned to normal levels since. The government says its plans to reform dental care are backed by £200 million of funding and would help more people get seen. Nail technicians across the UK are planning to collectively raise their prices as part of a campaign for better pay. The group, the Nail Tech Org, says its self-employed members are making around £7 an hour, which is below the minimum wage. Around 5,000 workers are thought to be putting up prices from tomorrow. Finally, a British man running the length of Africa is set to cross the finish line today. Russ Cook from West Sussex has been running for 352 days. The 27-year-old started the challenge at Africa's southernmost point and is due to finish his run in Tunisia today. That is the latest. We're back at 11.35 with more. Until then, have a good morning. Bye-bye.